Welcome to Dr. Tom Talks. Today, with the help of the biodigital human, I'm going to be talking about myocarditis. Now, you might have heard about myocarditis recently in the news because the FDA just decided to delay its decision to approve the Moderna vaccine for adolescents for COVID-19. And the reason why they decided that they were going to postpone this decision was to explore a potential link between myocarditis, this condition, and the COVID-19 vaccine. So what is myocarditis? What causes it? What are the symptoms of it? And let's explore that connection between myocarditis and the COVID-19 vaccine. That's what I'm going to be talking about today. First of all, spoiler alert, you should still get your COVID-19 vaccine if it's approved within your age group. You should still get your COVID-19 vaccine if it's approved in your age group, just to repeat that. I'm going to go into that in just a little bit. First of all, what is myocarditis? Well, myocarditis, the word itis means inflammation, myocardium, myo muscle, cardium heart, so inflammation of the heart muscle. So if I use this remove feature right here, I'll remove the cardiac fat, and you can see the heart muscle right there. We can actually go into a cross-section view to see this area of the heart, which is inflamed. This is the myocardium. These are your big pumping chambers of the heart that get your blood all the way throughout your whole body. We can go one step further and zoom in a little bit more, and we'll see the myocardium right here. This is the area that's inflamed. Here is the inside of your heart, so where the blood would be. That's the endocardium. This is the pericardium. This would be your chest cavity, and that is the area of the heart that's inflamed. So let's get the vaccine topic out of the way first. First of all, you are much more likely to contract myocarditis or to get myocarditis if you have COVID-19 than if you have the vaccine to COVID-19. So the data shows that there are only 4.8 cases per million vaccines, per million mRNA vaccines, 4.8 cases of myocarditis per million COVID-19 mRNA vaccines versus 150 cases of myocarditis per 100,000 people who have COVID-19. So you can see it is way more likely that you're going to get myocarditis if you have COVID-19 versus if you're vaccinated against it. So the, the story, the answer to the question is, yes, get vaccinated if it is in, approved in your age group. So what are the signs and symptoms of myocarditis? Well, most, a lot of people will have no symptoms whatsoever. It'll be, they'll be asymptomatic and they'll recover. And they'll have no idea that their heart was inflamed in the first place. But a few things you may want to look out for as an adult, fatigue, heart palpitations, which could be indicative of an arrhythmia, chest pain, symptoms of viral infection. So if you think about when you've maybe had the flu or really bad head cold before, those kinds of feelings like fever, uh, general malaise, shortness of breath, and leg swelling, which could be indicative of a problem with your heart. What you'd look out for in your kids or if you're a kid yourself, things like fever, fainting, feeling really tired, so fatigue, heart palpitations again, chest pain, and then breathing difficulties or breathing quite rapidly, so a high respiratory rate. So what are the causes of myocarditis? Well, lots of things can cause myocarditis. You can have an infection, so that's bacteria, fungi, um, viruses, and so on, various medications, illegal drugs, uh, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, all of these things can cause myocarditis, a big broad spectrum of things. They're still looking into the connection, the potential connection between uh, the COVID-19 vaccine and myocarditis, but those are the things you want to think about. In the rare instance that you have a severe case of myocarditis, and it is quite rare, there are other things that can happen to the heart that I do want to show you. So the first thing that could happen is that this myocardium, which was inflamed, can actually become damaged. So here you'll see you have an enlarged heart chamber. So if you go back to the normal size, you can see it's, it's smaller. And you can see that the myocardium itself has become stretched and it's become scarred. And that can actually cause issues with your heart pumping, such as heart failure. And this is what we see here in the next chapter. So here you have a big chamber and it's difficult to pump out enough blood to the rest of the body. And that's heart failure when you don't get enough blood pumped out to your body to meet your body's needs. Another thing that can happen is called uh, pericarditis, which is inflammation of the fluid filled sac that surrounds your heart. That could be a complication of myocarditis. And then finally, myocardial infarction, and that's also known as a heart attack. So you'll, hear, you'll see here, this is the myocardium. You see how it goes dark there? That's an infarction. It means the tissue of the heart has died. But I just want to reiterate that these things are very rare. Myocarditis itself in extreme 
forms is very rare. And the relationship between myocarditis and the vaccine is still being explored right now. And it's mainly in young adolescents, uh, male adolescents uh, as well. So I just want to make that abundantly clear. This has been a Dr. Tom talk on myocarditis. For any more information, go to biodigital.com.